maybe a week ago i said that i would um i made you guys vote actually um if i should do daily live streams or daily uploads before i go uh, on vacation and most of you guys chose live streams but i've been doing a bit of live streams or i've done some like uh, I did some a week ago and the problem with that is that my live streams whenever I live streams for like for some reason pixel gun lag is way too much to the point where I can't aim it's terrible but when I record it's perfectly fine like right now if I go into paradise or any map it's perfectly fine but when I stream for some reason it lags so I don't think I'm going to be streaming I also have a big announcement that I'm going to be making on uh, before I leave actually so yeah guys but today we're going to be talking about aim and screen rotation in pixel and 3d so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video Alright, so hey guys, how's it going? And you're here and welcome back to our Pixel 3D video. So today we're going to be talking about the aim and screen rotation in Pixel 3D. So if you guys don't know what that is, it is basically just like, you know, for example, let me just, let me just take this weapon because why not? Look, we have this weapon right here, for example, aim. I mean, aim is pretty simple. You just, it's, it's simple. It's aiming at an opponent and shooting at him. And screen rotation is this like, you know, rotating your screen. So when you play picks on 3D, aim is obviously very important because if you can't aim, then you won't get kills. And if you can't get kills and you won't win matches. And if you don't win matches, you don't get rewards and you don't get things to make your account better. So um, it is very important. And screen rotation is something also that is uh, very important because when you go in a match, it's not like, on well, if it's a 1v1, then the most important thing you have to rely on is aim. But if you go into public matches, like for example, Team Strike or like uh, Deathmatch, or team fight whatever there's going to be opponents everywhere there could be one like over there one over here and then like one right there and you obviously have to have the perfect screen rotation so that you can kill that guy kill this guy and then kill that guy obviously that would be better with three cat spam because you can easily just like switch the weapons and then laser that guy and then laser this guy and then laser that guy but if you are a casual player then you will obviously use your ars most or like a fast fire rate sniper or whatever and for that you will obviously still need screen rotation but i feel like screen rotation is more important for a three cat spammers because you know they're not like for if you're a casual you're obviously like let's say you have your primary you're just like shooting at them like that and for three cat spam you're like switching and you have to like you know um you know switch the weapons have the right screen rotation for like the opponent as he is moving because it's not like you know with an ar you're just like aiming at him like that so for aim um we're gonna be uh showing my uh okay my settings over here um so my settings oh my gosh where is it okay right here my settings is right here i have the sensitivity at 12 um forget this one down there that's a battery rail but this is like for all the matches my sensitivity is at 12 and i do have my controls like this so i have the big uh, moving button like that because um it's easier for me to move around i don't have to focus on like you know that if it's like this and i have to focus on there and then that's a bit harder if it's bigger i can literally just tap anywhere and then i start moving um, my shooting button is obviously big because if i have it like this then i obviously have to like aim at that center and if it's this big then i can just like click anywhere near that button jump same thing as the shooting you know like it's the same thing uh um for the aiming the scope it's like that because i mean scope isn't really that important unless you're like shooting an op opponent from far away and only is very important actually if you're just like a casual player but yeah you don't need this one that big it's not that important for reloading obviously that is also kind of important because if you don't have if your reloading button is like this and you need to reload a weapon then you're probably gonna die because you can't reload the weapon so try to have it um you know near the scope button and as big as it as well that would be the best and for the gadgets they're not really that important but yeah that is basically what i have right there and right now let's just go into the polygon again like i said and we're going to be using for example right here a sniper it's a pretty fast sniper not the fastest one in picks on 30 but it's pretty fast and okay so let's say you're trying to hit that opponent and then you're trying to hit this one right there and then you're trying to hit that one right there and then you're trying to hit that one right there i don't know how to, i just did that i got lucky but yeah let's say you're trying to do that if you have oh I, I can't really leave if you have the sensitivity at 100 then your screen is going to go everywhere and you're not really going to be able to do what i did there you have to have low sensitivity because if you have low sensitivity look at this it's a bit slower and it's easier to hit opponents you know like you can see right there it's it's nice and slow 
if you have like very fast reflections and you are you can control it and stuff you can obviously keep it like at 50 or 49 but in my opinion i recommend the uh, you know the 12 because it is honestly the best you guys can see right here if you can do this as long as you can do this right here you can pl practice in the polygon if you can do this and hit all the opponents like that then you know you're fine but obviously i recommend uh the 12 sensitivity um if you have very fast one then it will like you will shoot this player and then you will try to go over there but it won't be it won't be like that it won't be that slow you will have to shoot this one and then you're like if you have fast sensitivity you will shoot this guy and then it will go like all the way over here which is why i don't recommend it you really have to control it but honestly 12 is the best i recommend you guys use it and that is honestly all you need to do to practice the you know the rotations and stuff for your, like your what do you call it to practice the screen rotation i recommend you guys just do what i'm doing right here you can just shoot the opponent if it's way too hard and you're not doing what i'm doing like if you're if you can't do this right here let me just show you if you can't do this right here if you can't do any of this then your sensitivity is probably way too high and you just need to keep practicing once you do that then you can probably go into like you know a public match and then just try it on them but yeah look this is a bit harder because the birds are moving but i mean it's it's fine don't worry about it but this is the best way to practice in my opinion so with all this being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know any other tips you want to see so like i said if 12 doesn't work try to go higher and if that's like even worse than 12 then try to go lower than 12 try to go like 11 10 until you find like the perfect one because 12 won't be the perfect one for everyone i'm just saying that that's like a good one in my opinion so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video um take care and i will see you in the next one peace out I know things have changed I want to go back to the old days But they're far away you Gotta let them go cause I'm up now. Yeah, yeah, high road Sipping with my bros All I do is kick it I ain't with that business All you lame niggas fall in line With them hoes too Seen it all before Already know you, you